there's always been conversation and many stories told about who funded death row. I have the documentation to prove to you what it was, what it is, and what it's supposed to be. Let's get into some of the straight game. It's not what you dealt with, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter Straight Game TV, thank you for tuning in I appreciate your time Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button notification Also subscribe to the channel if you have not already And like I always say, if you would like to be one of the first people Notified when I drop some of the straight game Please do me a favor and hit what appears to be that little bell notification uh, right below this video. I'm going to get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, there's been a lot of um, conversation and actually lawsuits and uh, uh, legal litigation around death row as far as who started death row, who named death row, who came up with the idea of death row records, right? And, um, you know, we can all listen to whoever we want to listen to and side with whoever we like the most or favor the most, you know. Um, but I've always found that paperwork, you know, um, or should I say documentation, always trumps uh, conversation or overrules conversation, should I say. And so what I did was I, I looked up and did some research involving um, the situation involving death row and and what really happened and and who was actually responsible uh, for the for the incorporation. Now, when we look into it, we say, OK, you know, everybody Suge just Suge Knight spoke out recently and said, you know, you know, he came up with the name Death Row and so on and so forth. Um, I believe that to be true. I believe that to be true. I believe Suge came up with the name Death Row. Um, but before there was any funding involved with Death Row Records, right? Death Row was just namely basically a name. I mean, you, you couldn't really move forward with anything because, you know, you didn't have the financial means to do so. And so it wasn't really who came up with the name Death Row, but more so um, when it was incorporated, when the, when the money was, uh, when the backing, the financial backing was put behind Death Row. Um, what it was then and the parent company for which um, basically backed death row you know you can have a parent company and you can have a like you know fictitious name uh, underneath of that company but there's a company in which that company is under right and so what I found was basically back in um, it was January uh, 24th 1992 um, there was an incorporation of uh, GF Music Incorporated, right? GF Music Incorporated was uh, Harry O's uh, company, and basically he was calling it Godfather Entertainment. You know, Godfather Music, Godfather Entertainment. And it basically says uh, the name of this corporation is GF Music Incorporated. The purpose of this a corporation is to engage in a uh, lawful act of activity for which a corporation may or uh, may be organized under the general corporation law of California. Other than the banking businesses, the trust company businesses or the practice of a profession permitted to be incorporated by California Corporations Code. Uh, the liability of the directors of this corporation for the monetary damage shall be eliminated to the fullest extent permissible under California law. So basically, uh, the uh, articles of incorporation for GF Music Incorporated basically were filed. Um, the number 1702246 was filed January 24th, 1992. That is a fact, right? And so when we think about this, this is GF Entertainment. And so that's Harry O's company, right? And so what I also have is 
uh, documentation, basically, um, and where a couple of months later, was that January, February, March, April, approximately three months later, right? Um, there was a fictitious uh, a business uh, name statement basically um, filed, right? And under this fictitious business name statement, you're going to see what it is and what it isn't. These are the facts, right? Now, as to the death row records, um, we know in the, the inception of death row records, it was Dr. Dre, Suge Knight, and a DOC, right? Who had this company. But once, um, for, for what everybody understand and know, once Harry O came in and got involved, right? And you can see that there was a video when they were at um, uh, Chasen's in Beverly Hills. And um, you could see what David Kenner talked about, you know, uh, GF Entertainment, right? So right here. Filed on April 15th, 1992, there was a uh, fictitious uh, business name statement filed. And as you can see on the top row on, on, on uh, section number two, A, is the, fix, the fictitious business name statement was Death Row Records, right? Then under that, you can see 1600 uh, Ventura Boulevard, fifth floor, Encino, California. And then under that, the name of the registrant of the fictitious business name statement was once again GF Music Incorporated, California, same place, 1600 Ventura Boulevard, fifth floor, right? So now, when you think about everything that encompassed Death Row, why would GF Music? be following the fictitious business name statement of death row records if they truly didn't have anything that, like like most people have been saying uh suge knight included um why would gf music incorporated be in 1992 april 15th of 1992 why would they be filing a uh, fictitious business name statement for death row records that basically shows you that everything that harry o was saying was true in regards to the financing and the backing of Death Row. That's the only reason that he would want to, you know, at 1992, he was in prison. So somebody had to be acting on his behalf and filing all of this paperwork, correct? Right. And so, once again, for all of the people who wanted to uh, say that, you know, hey, you know, you know, Suge Knight started Death Row, and, you know, he came up with Death Row. Like, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt the name Death Row, um, you know, and, and having that, like I said, Suge, Dr. Dre, and the DOC, right? I think it was going to be called something else before it was actually Death Row Records. But when it came to making this thing a legal entity, right, it was uh, uh, GF Music Incorporated, right? was the basically the the um, the company that was financing running uh basically under creating the fictitious name of death row records so yeah so like i said so this paperwork right here ought to just basically explain to everybody what it is versus what it isn't and i believe later on um harry o had got mad and because he had found that they had created another death row records without the involvement of GF's, GF Music, Godfather Music, that's what it was called, Godfather Music Incorporated. So basically, uh, Harry O was saying that David Ken and Suge Knight went and then um, made another corporation called Death Row Records, right? Without his involvement in that, from that perspective. But these were the documents that were used, I believe, in the court case involving uh, proving that Harry O had something to do with death row that harry o actually uh provided the finances for death row and like i say as well as you know on the paperwork uh who were the um the officers if you will of of death row records as well as uh gf music and, and entertainment so and i think lydia harris was basically representing uh harry o's representing on harry o's behalf at that particular time 
But once again, like I said, documentation always uh, trumps and beats out just conversation. You know, people speculating and, and giving their side of the story when you go back and you look back on it. So I just wanted to share this uh, with you guys. You know, chime in in the comments. Tell me what you think. You know what I mean? Proof, fact that Harry O uh, was the financier of Death Row Records uh, under his company, GF Music Entertainment Incorporated. Your boy Delray, straight game.